Hello there. Just want to start off by saying thank you very much to everyone that's come out and supported the channel. I never in a million years thought that I would have a thousand subscribers for something as niche as WoW Classic Rare videos. But anyway, so thank you very much for all the positive feedback and comments and things like that. It is really appreciated. Anyway, on with today's video, we're going to be looking at the seven rares, their locations and loot inside of the Dwarven Zone of Loch Modan. Grizzlack. First up we have Grizzlack, a level 15 kobold that hangs around as they normally do at the back of Silverstream Mine. This area is quite popular with new players in Loch Modan as it is quite a low level quest to go in here so you might often find him killed. As for killing him he's not really that difficult, there's a couple of ads in the room but he doesn't really do anything special. As for loot he has a 60% chance to drop the rat cloth cloak which is a pretty nice back and he has a 55% chance to drop wax polished armour which actually one I think looks really cool but also is a really really good level 10 chance chest piece um, so if you are a male wearing dwarf or gnome I would definitely re recommend picking this up. Also he normally has a chest next to him so you're almost guaranteed a green as well providing that a player has not looted it and because we're in one of the higher zones the chance to get the, the well the greens are just higher level so you're kind of going to get something around your level if not higher. Lord Kondar Up next we have Lord Condor, a level 16 rare buzzard that hangs around in the southeast corner of Loch Modern, just south of Farstrider Lodge. Unfortunately you'll probably find this guy's dead most of the time because there is actually a quest in Farstrider Lodge to kill mountain buzzards and this seems to be the only place that you can really get a large amount of them. Not to worry though because as for drops, he only really has an increased chance to drop greens, there's no chests nearby. Overall the sort of greens you're going to be getting are between maybe level 10 to 16 so if you don't get this guy or he's dead I wouldn't really recommend sticking around and waiting for him, you're not really missing too much. One thing I will quickly mention though is that if you are a hunter this guy looks pretty cool to tame so if you are looking for a cool buzzard then he'd definitely be the one to look out for. Emog the Crusher Up next we have Emog the Crusher, a level 19 elite ogre that roams around the Mogros stronghold. The only reason you're going to be in the Mogros stronghold is when you get the quest to kill Choxul. So you're probably going to be with a group of friends. This guy is like a really small ogre that patrols around there. His drops are pretty mediocre, slightly increased chance to drop greens, a small drop chance on various types of shoulders between 6 to 19, and he also has a 4% chance to drop the Mogrash Masher, which is a really low drop chance for a very mediocre maze. You'd kind of expect it to be a rare or something with a, a drop rate that low, but nevertheless, you're probably only going to find this guy when you're doing the quest to kill Choxol. Aside from that, no other reason to go to Mogrash Stronghold, I'm afraid. Magosh and Boss Galgosh. So up next we have a tag team of Magosh and Boss Galgosh. Funnily enough, these two rares are literally a stone's throw from each other inside of Iron Band's excavation site. They are both actually quite dangerous, they both have two adds next to them and they both do a fair bit of damage. The first one I'm going to be showing you is Magosh, he is the shaman and he is the lower level, he's up on this little ledge here. He also always spawns next to a chest as well so that's really good. He's a shaman so you need to watch out, he casts lightning bolt, he can cast healing wave and he can also cast lightning shock as well. This guy actually does hit for a fair bit of damage and with the two adds you're definitely going to need some help to kill this guy. Nevertheless if you do manage to kill him the drops are pretty cool actually. He has a 55% chance to drop the Desperado Cape and a 45% chance to drop the Trog Beater which is an awesome awesome mace because it gives plus 7 stam which is crazy good for something this low level. Obviously there's also a chest there as well which is really really good news because you can you know even if you don't get the green item you want you're also going to get some more greens that way. This area is quite popular though and a lot of players do kind of chance their arm at this and um, more often than not with failure. Like I said, they do do a lot of damage. After you've killed Magosh, you'll then want to move on to Boss Galgosh, which is just down here. He has a small 
patrol that you can accidentally pull him with if you're not too careful so you definitely need to be wary of that as for the actual fight itself he hits really really hard and so do his ads you'll see in this video here um i'm you know i'm 40 levels higher than these and they actually crit me and they hit for a fair bit of damage so i wouldn't recommend doing this with anything less than at least two people i've tried this multiple times with a friend and we just got absolutely hammered every single time as for drops boss gal gosh has a 55 percent chance to drop the support girdle and a 45 percent chance to drop the block mallet my tactic would be to cc him if you can and then kill the ads first before taking him on because he actually does a crap ton of damage you want to get those ads out of the way first before you before you then take him on i would say that these two are the most important rares in lock modan just because of how close they are to each other and just how good the loot is really so if you do have a friend or a couple of friends i would definitely recommend going over this way and killing these guys even if you don't stick around for the quest the items are really unique the bosses are really cool and it is definitely a challenge large lock crocolisk So in at rare number 6 we have the Large Lock Crocolisk, a rare that you've probably not seen a whole lot of because it just seems to get killed all the time by players. It's an absolutely humongous Crocolisk that sits on the eastern shore of Loch Modan. Very very high traffic area for a lot of reasons, quests, just players getting around the zone and things like that. So don't be surprised if this guy is already dead. However, some really, really cool items actually. If you kill him, a 75% chance to drop the Seafarer's Pantaloons, which I think is quite humorous considering he's a crocodile that hangs around in the lake, and um, a 40% chance to drop the Lock Croc Hide Vest, which is, try say that a few times fast. Overall, both pretty good items. The Seafarer's Pantaloons, obviously, very good for priests, and then, you know, Spirit is just generally good for casters low level in Classic WoW anyway. The Lock Croc Hide Vest is actually really, really good for anyone that uses leather because it is plus 7 stam, which is really, really unheard of on a leather chess piece this low level. So overall, he's really good. Definitely kill him if you see him. Shanda the Spinner Up next we have Shanda the Spinner, a level 25 spider, just north of the Far Strider Lodge. To find the cave you just need to kind of look around this general area, it's quite hard to find, there's a little path going up there. To be honest, aside from having lots and lots of health, Shanda doesn't really have anything unique about her. There's not really any unique kind of mechanics or spells and only has a slightly increased chance to drop green, so it's not like there's any really cool unique items here for going. Overall, Shanda is probably actually one of the weakest rares in terms of loot in lock mode which is really disappointing actually because she's a level 25 spider is reasonably hard to kill so not really sure what was going on there in blizzard's head nevertheless if you feel like killing her this is where you'll find her That about wraps it up, that is all 7 rares, their locations and loot inside of the Alliance Zone of Loch Modern. Overall, I really really like Loch Modern. I think it is very similar to Westfall in that Blizzard have clearly spent time making some really nice unique items and some really nice unique mobs to go along with it. If you liked the video, please do leave a comment and let me know down below and if you'd like to see more of these, subscribe to the channel.